Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna try out Star Trek Bridge Crew. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. Uh, the game released VR only, 50 bucks, and I'm like, really? Come on. I don't want to spend $600 on a Vive or $300 on an Oculus, whatever it is now, just so I can play one game that I'm really interested in. Um, I'm a big Star Trek fan, but I wasn't willing to shell out that kind of money. Um, the game has since gone non-VR, and I think it was Humble Bundle that was having a sale. I think it was like 12 bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up there. So today we're going to get like a first impressions, uh, you know, of this game and see if it's playable in the non-VR version. I've seen mixed reviews on that subject, but we'll find out. Okay, so here we are. Um, I guess the first things first, we've got to take a look at our avatar, right? I mean, oh, oh boy. Okay, well, let's go with masculine first off. Um, can I change any? Okay, human or Vulcan? I guess Vulcan. Head type. Right, so I, okay, so I have two different types. Okay, that's it. And then hair type. I have up to four hair types. Let's go with that one. Adjust features. Oh, okay, so... Why is feature D... Uh, all these other features are sort of moving while I'm doing this. It's... It's kind of... Oh, I wish it would just tell me what I'm adjusting. It, that would be nice. Alright, well I guess we'll leave it at this and then and hope for the best. Uh, hair, color... Black is fine. Intensity? That doesn't seem to do very much. Eye color. Blue it is. Not that anyone could probably... I can't even see my face, I'm sure, but... To other people, this is what I would look like. Okay, so we got our avatar, our stream. Now, yeah, we're now wearing pants uh, instead of a skirt. Um, I'm guessing this is the difficulty here under Ensign, but I, I, I don't know. There's a mic check, select region... Uh, I guess we'll take a look at that real quick. North America, Asia, Japan, Automatic, Australia, Europe. Okay, we'll stick to North America there. Um, okay, so I can pan to the left and right here with my mouse. Oh, I like that. I like the, the ship. What is that? The USS Aegis? NX-1787. Okay, not, not a ship I'm familiar with. There's quick match, there's custom lobby, solo adventure, and training. Let's start with training um, and hope for the best. I'll be curious. I mean, this is meant to really be played with other people. Each person manning their own station, and then you communicate with them going, you know, the captain might say, shields up, and then I guess the weapons officer will tactical. Whoever's manning that station will say, okay, and then hit the right button, and boom. But as a single player game, I, I have to wonder... Do you jump from person to person, or console to console, or is everything laid out for you all under one console, without you having to move at all? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out, folks. That's what we're here to find out. Okay, um... Ensign Welcome Rayo. Welcome to the Starfleet Training Simulator. Our system is currently configured to train command crew of Aegis-class starships. Here you may learn about the roles and responsibilities of each officer on the bridge and how to operate all of the controls of their command stations. Feel free to experiment and get comfortable with the ship here in the simulator before moving on to the real thing. You mean I just can't jump into the Kobayashi Maru? All right, so Captain, this is... As Captain, you are in overall command of the crew. It is your responsibility to communicate with and to coordinate the actions of the other officers on the bridge. You'll receive important updates on mission status, and also have direct control of the main view screen. Okay, um, objectives? The captain's objectives feed contains vital information about your ship's mission. Updates from support crew and Starfleet command are reflected here, so that you will always know what your crew needs to accomplish. Open the objectives feed now. Okay, so my, my armrest buttons actually do something, unlike the TV series. Um, so objectives. Some objectives also have more detailed information. Sometimes you, as captain, must choose between different ways to complete an objective and direct your crew accordingly. In all cases, your crew depends on you to keep them informed of their goals. Select the objective for more information. 
Sometimes you will receive additional information to help with your mission. Keep an eye out for your intel feed, located near your objective readout for tips and hints. Okay, um, topics completed, objectives, uh, so there's a bunch here, you know what? The captain's Oops, objective. Stop. I, I, the interface is a little cumbersome with a mouse, I gotta say, like, trying to select exactly what I want with the mouse cursor is a little rough. At any time while on the bridge. I was trying, like, for example, I'm trying to scroll down on the right here, there we go, but if both, if both of my hands are over this, Captains have control. You see what I'm doing here? Like, I have my mouse over the down, the scroll down button, and then I've also got my left hand over take over AI button. Which one does it press? It looks like the one on the left. Sometimes as captain, you may wish to take temporary control. So again, the, the controls seem to be a little finicky in the non-VR version, which may be an issue. Uh, I guess we'll see. And when you're in the midst of combat and you're trying to click on stuff, it might be difficult. All right, um, let's go to the station menu. Oh, yeah. Helm. Let's take a look helmsman, at that. You are the ship's navigator, responsible for maneuvering the ship and navigating within and between star systems. Your crew depends on you to get the ship wherever needed, to avoid collisions with hazards in space, and to maneuver for tactical advantage in combat situations. Okay, um, cool. There, there's a lot to go through here. I don't want to bore you guys to death by going through all of it, but I do want to go over each of the consoles. As the tactical officer, you are in charge of the ship's weapons, defenses, and scanners. In combat situations, you must coordinate with the rest of the bridge crew to protect the ship and deal with any threats to it. But you also have a crucial role in non-combat situations. It is the tactical officer's responsibility to scan nearby ships and other objects in the environment to reveal vital information about them. Ooh, I think I just activated shields. I think I'm gonna like the tactical the best. There's little torpedoes here, okay. All right, station menu and then engineer. As chief engineer, you support all other members of the bridge crew by keeping the Aegis operating in top condition. You monitor vital status information about the ship's systems, allocate power needed for maneuvering mm. and combat, and manage the ship's power grid to compensate for damage or boost its capabilities. You also manage the ship's repair teams and keep an eye on how visible the Aegis is to other ships in the area. Okay, so we've got phaser range, engine power, and shield level. So we can actually uh, adjust our power accordingly. There's like little bars on the top there. Really cool. Um, detectable at certain range. Okay, shield strength is at level four. Charge coils. Oh, I guess I need more more power. So if I get rid of that, that, that charge. Warp coils charging. Ooh, power locked. Okay, so this is for warp speed. Charged. Okay, okay, so uh, now that it's charged, I'm guessing we go, hey, Helm, uh, it's time to go to warp now. All right, so I, I, let's go ahead and try something out. I have a feeling we're going to crash and burn, but it should be in good fun. Okay, uh, options to view and edit keyboard controls. Select, system menu, cancel. Accept help orders. Right. So there's quick match, join a game with up to three other players, custom lobby, and solo adventure. Uh, there's also uh, mic check, select region. All right. Uh, let's go with um, solo adventure. Assuming I can... S this is Again, I'm having difficulty selecting things. I'm trying to... Yeah, the mouse is just not responding now. There we go. Start. Reminds me a little bit of Bridge Commander, for those of you that played Star Trek Bridge Commander. Alright, um, so I have to choose one of these. I guess all I have to choose is the captain. Campaign missions, ongoing voyages. So the campaign mission is, I'm guessing, are scripted, and the ongoing voyages are just random. 
recommended for experience crews. Oh, hey, check it out. We can be the original Enterprise. Oh, I so want to do that. It says recommended for experienced or for advanced crews, so maybe we shouldn't be doing that. All right, we'll just do. Uh, but it's nice that we can actually play as the original Enterprise. All right, let's go ahead and launch. Oh, here we go. I can't wait. I can't wait to try this in VR someday if I decide to get a headset. But VR is just so expensive nowadays. And I also don't know which one to get Oculus. Captain's vibe. log, stardate 2258.161. Uh -huh. My crew is assembled, and we're preparing to disembark on our expedition to the trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead, <laughs> and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. Oh. No problem. Ensign Rayo, set a course Captain, for regular a maximum incoming warp. From Deep Space K7. Incoming hail. Alright, fine. Opening channel. Aegis, we have a freighter coming into dock, and we've um we've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Like tribbles, maybe? Um, okay, objectives updated. Select an object for detail. Scan... Uh, K7 was the uh, Trouble with Tribbles uh, episode. Scan the Ragusa. Is that like an Italian sauce? Alright, let's... Um, what now? Who scans? Approach target, set speed... Okay, that's not it. System intrusion, weapons... Raise shields... Uh, Take over. Oh, you can actually manually take them. All right, so sure, if we, there it is. Ragusa shield. Okay, so um, we've selected it. System intrusion. What is that? Tactical scan required. So how do we? Oh, here we go. Scan. Are we scanning? I don't know if we're doing it right, but... Oh, okay, we can... Something's happening there on these bars up here, but I don't know... Maybe we should get in closer while we're doing that. Can I jump to a different console while I'm doing this? Return to captain. Back. Okay, delete. Okay, good. You. Um, approach target. I, I'm trying to... Well, I'd like to approach the target, but it's not letting me. No target. But it says I've got a target right... Oh, here it is. Crew-wide orders. Engage, prepare, warp, analyze target. Okay, so... I'm trying to scan this ship, but... Having no... Detecting any unusual life forms aboard the freighter, Captain. Oh, so I'll let K7 know the ship's clean. Uh, okay. So I was doing it right. I just had to wait. I see. All right. So now I have to go back to the captain, hail the, hail the thing, hail the station, warp, local impulse view screen over here. Red alert. Status. Objectives. Answer. Hail. Warp to Gamma Hydra to continue. Oh no, is that the Kobayashi Maru? Order helm to pilot... Oh, plot warp course to Gamma Hydra. Alright. Uh, tactical is there. So... Cr okay, crew-wide is actually in the middle. Reduce signature, prepare... Warp. No. All right, so how do we do that? Order helm to plot a course. So do we have to do that manually then? All right, let's take over the station. All right, so where is like this system list? 
And again, this is where the uh, tutorial would have been helpful had I not skipped through it, but never mind that. Warp. Ah, here we go. Warp. Gamma Hydra. Engine's not set to warp. Oh, I know what this does. Okay, so we need to go back. And then we need to jump into engineering over here. If, it, if it'll let me. Ah, there we go. Power to engines. Oh, okay, I we'll just tell them to do power that. To engines. All right. Um, I wonder why it's not letting me tell them to just warp to the location that I'm telling them to warp to. Like, why, why do I have to... That's speed. All right, take over. And warp. Gamma Hydra. Engines not set to... What are you talking about? I just did. You mean I have to do this? I, I got to do everything myself. Charge coils. Warp coils charging. I was hoping for ready like. All right, now we're ready to warp. Okay, I was hoping to be able to just tell them to do it, but now I gotta seem like I gotta jump into each station. Gamma Hydra. Align with warp vector. What is? Warp vector. My foot. Warp coil discharge imminent. The warp coils are about to discharge. Oh. Warp coils discharged. Oh, so I have to... Oh, uh, I have to time it, I guess. Okay, so if we go back to the captain... Okay, so I can't... Can I actually... I can't actually control the ship from here. Is this still... That's still the ship. Okay. Prepare warp. Oh, so there is... Oh, so much easier. Okay, there is a prepare warp button. We're on vector for warp. Warp coils ready. On your mark. What to say, as the captain, I shouldn't have to walk over to each console and, and tell him what to do. Warp. Aye, aye. Gamma Hydra Section 10 was where the Kobayashi Maru bit it. So, part of me's wondering. Select an objective I'm for details. I'm picking up a distress signal, Captain. Channel open. USS Aegis. My vessel has lost all power and our life support systems are nearly uh... exhausted. We have a crew of six. I request that you take us aboard your ship as soon as possible. Rescue crew of the... Okay, so that's not the Kobayashi Maru. All right, uh, location. Okay, we're good. We need to target that ship, yes? Reduce our signature. Aye, Captain. Um, so we need to find this thing. I'm guessing it's further ahead. All right, I think I might actually be in the wrong... Yeah, let's come over here. All right, so we're targeting that. Scan out of range. Um, so we're going to have to move closer. All right, so back to... Yeah, we can't... There's no crew-wide order here to actually get closer. So let's... Can we increase speed? I think that's for warp there. Engine power at 4,000. There's local input. Oh, okay, nice. We can switch views. With all this debris, I'm wondering if we should put our shields up. Just to be on the safe side. Raise shields. Roger that. Raising shields. Aye, Captain. Torpedoes arming. 
You never know. You never know. There could be a Klingon bird of prey or something out there. Weapons. Alright, we're closing in. Still no target yet. Analyze target, engage tar- Alright, let's analyze target. I get, maybe I'm just not close enough. Once I get a handle on where all the different commands are, I think I'll be in good shape. Alright, let's go ahead and reduce speed. I also don't know how close I need to be. Scan for life. Now let's see if we can do it from here. Analyze. No, nope. still. There's a tiny leak in one of the EPS conduits. Any idea where? No target. I'm taking a look now. But see, we have it targeted, so I'm not exactly sure what it means by no target. Oh, see, now we can scan that. How come we couldn't? What's the difference between scanning and analyzing target? Getting strange readings. Oh, that's good. That's always a good sign. Transport survivors from ship. Pretty sure that's not safe. Our shields are up, so we're going to have to lower shields at some point. As far as teleporting goes, uh, let's see. No. I'm guessing that's tactical. Select transporter target. Um, yeah, shields are active. Lock time, 21 seconds. Alright, so that means we're going to have to lower shields here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and lower shields, lock on. Alright, one out of six. I can see where this would be easier with multiple people. And a lot more fun, too. I'm putting my shields back up. I don't trust anything around here. Why are we turning? I didn't do that, for the record. We have a priority message incoming from Starfleet Command. Alright, incoming hail. Opening channel. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. Okay, so I don't know if I'm turning or if... Like, why, why are we turning back and forth? I'm not doing that. All right, um... Oh, cool. Well, first off, come to a full stop, because you're making me sick doing that. Um, now we need to set a course. No warp destination. Okay, so I think it was what? Warp. All right, Gamma Hydras. Gamma Hydra section B Nebula. Uh, that might be under what? Impulse? Ah. Plotting course. All right, that seems to be done. And now can we go? Prepare impulse. Oh, I saw Mikulpita diverting power for impulse. Laying course for impulse. We're ready to go.
This is going to take forever to get there. Can't we just warp? Oh, okay, that works too. So impulse is like a fast travel inside a system. And I'm guessing sublight engines are for maneuvering. Good. If we get too close, they'll be attracted to our hull, and the damage could be severe. We should keep our distance. Can we just shoot them? All right. Um, I'd like to take. The environment is inhibiting the effectiveness of our sensors, Captain. We are, however, detecting pockets of plasma coolant. They may provide clues as to the Nicholson's whereabouts. Follow plasma coolant trail. Right. Avoid gravitic mines. Okay, so we need to turn. Up. Um, take over. Okay, so you can manually control the ship from here. It's alright, we're going in between them, right? They won't notice me. Oh, stop. Shields up! Up. Uh, shields? Affirmative. Prioritizing power to shields. Uh oh, this is. Oh, whoa! Okay, good thing I put shields up. Shields, 50%. Sure, I meant to do that. I'll be curious to see how this game, like, how do we handle damage? Is shield, are shields going to be repaired? Shield strength is at 35%. Repair. Shield emitters, engines, phaser banks, torpedo scanners, warp core. Assign crew. The AC calibrations are complete. Can you check them out? Ah. No problem. Oh, cool. You can actually see the system display. You can see what's wrong with the ship from here. Shield strength is still at 35%. Again, I wonder if there's a way to repair the shields. Alright, return to captain. Oh, I think we passed up our objective. Aye, aye, captain. Full stop. Alright, um... Take over. Plasma coolant A. Alright, there it is. Reduce signature, analyze... We've selected it. What I would like to know is why can't I analyze the target? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Lower shield, system intrusion, weapon, subsystem targeting, arm torpedoes. Select a target to scan. Okay, I thought we did that already. Scan complete. New contact. Okay, so now we've got to go to a different place. I wonder if we can do it from here now. The sensors are detecting a distress beacon, but it is not a Federation frequency. It looks like a civilian vessel needs assistance as well. Uh... 
I'm picking up a signal on emergency frequencies. Aye, aye. Target selected. On screen. Scan initiated. Aegis, according to my engineer, our engines are locked in some sort of malfunction cycle. If we could temporarily override them, I think we can fix the problem. Uh, should we? We should probably take a look at the sh the friendly ship first. That's Warning. a rubidic mine. Oh, okay. Um, Captain, we've reached our destination. Okay, so selecting it from here and then clicking this middle one allows me to do that. Okay. Sensors now, Captain. We're being hailed. Render aid to civilian vessel. Yes. This is the USS Nicholson. Our vessel is severely damaged and leaking radiation. Most of my crew escaped, but a few of us are trapped in a forward compartment. I need you to transport us off the ship. And then, well, she's too dangerous. We can't just leave her floating out here. You'll have to scuttle her. Initiating scan. All right. Before we do that, I want to take a look at this civilian vessel first and then we'll worry about the Nicholson although we have 10 minutes to take care of that so we need to we need to hurry scanning complete oof render aid to civilian okay so how exactly do we do that uh select engine subsystem via system intrusion exiting the anomaly uh, full aye, stop. Aye. Bring her to full stop. System intrusion. Uh, Beltane. Okay, engines. And then do we? No. Okay. I can't see past my own hand. There we go. Uh, disable weapon. T okay, so maybe it's the disrupt engines. Well, let's get let's get back to the Nicholson here. Yes, Follow. Captain. Updating target. Warp core levels are holding steady, but we're losing efficiency somewhere. Let me finish this up first. All right, shields are back up to 100% again. So I guess they do repair over time. All right, so we're scanning for life. Transport survivors from the ship and then warp core breach imminent. So we've got six life signs. Uh, that's not it. Approach target. Aye, aye, Captain. Following the target. Transport from target. Aye, aye, Captain. Lowering shield. Establishing lock.
Did we not just scan for life? How come that's not checked? Energizing. Okay, minimum safe distance from breach, 20 kilometers. Warp core breach will occur after destruction. So, we need to get to 20 kilometers? All right, um, but it says to destroy it. Uh, engage target. What? And a new ship, hopefully. Okay, well, that, we're still alive. That's good. Uh, repair. Okay. Hull is at 7%. So we can't actually fix anything. It's just the hull is, has taken damage. What about, can we assign repair crews to fix the hull? Alright, guess not. Well, just ignore the fire for right now, I guess. Gamma Hydra, Section 10, Neutral Zone. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that is the Kobayashi Maru right there. Alright, so we need the Impulse. Gamma Hydra, Section 10. We should not be going to the neutral zone boundary with 7% hull. Hi, Captain. Allocating engine power for impulse. Making ready for impulse. On your mark, Captain. Do, do we not have repair crews that can put out these fires? I'm just saying. Hi. I'm thinking I should have gone to 20 kilometers and then engaged the target. I'm guessing. That would have mitigated some of this damage. Oh look, the fire's out. Are we actually repairing the hull? I sincerely hope so. No kidding. Well, what, what would James Kirk do? Well, he would program the simulator and then cheat and not have to face that, this scenario. Um, so, we just need to target the code. Oh, well, first of all, let's see. Are we repairing our damaged systems or not? Oh, it says, hull, no, still 7%. There's got to be a way to repair this hull damage, you'd think. All right, guess not. I should send a technician to the Jeffries tube for a better measurement. Uh, pfft, forget that. How about repairing the hull damage to our ship? I think that would be a good idea. All right. Um, we need to target. I guess we have to warp. No. We're at Gamma Hydra. Section ten. I'm trying to select this other, yeah, it says impulse to section 10. That's where I am now. And then, in, okay, rescue. Neutral zone must be violated to reach transporter range. End conflict, do not violate Klingon neutral zone. 
Kobayashi Maru will be destroyed by Klingons if not rescued. Violation will cause hostile Klingon response. My ship has 7% hull left. I don't think we're in any condition. And I have no idea what I'm doing. But, YOLO. So, first we have to find the Kobayashi Maru. Local. Gravitic Mine. I'm trying to target the Kobayashi Maru, but I can't seem to do it. Alright, let's see if we can't just... Aye, Captain. Changing target. We're going to move toward... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Scanning. You got it. With you target locked. We're approaching the Klingon... Whoa! Whoa, whoa. What was that? Congratulations, Captain. You and your crew have just completed the Kobayashi Maru simulation. <laughs> I know it's not easy to face a no-win situation like that, but it's a necessary test, both for Starfleet and for yourselves. I think we all have a better idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Yeah, hit the Based mine. Based on your overall performance, I'm not only clearing the Aegis for Operation Distant Shore, I'm recommending that you lead the expedition into the trench. Okay, so, that was the third option I wasn't thinking about. Rescue the Kobayashi Maru, don't rescue the Kobayashi Maru, or just run into a mine. That, I bet you James Kirk did not think to do that. Alright, so, um, not a bad game so far. Uh, again, the control issues are a little wonky with the mouse, but all in all, I'm having fun with it. Um, I can't wait to actually play this with other people that actually know what they're doing <laughs> and are patient. But at the same time, um, solo, it's not bad either. If you guys want to see another mission or something like that, uh, leave a comment in the below description. Maybe I'll even stream it one day and you guys can help me out with that. Um, oh, speaking of streaming, I'm on Twitch now, so go follow me there. There's a link in the below description. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.